They don't make them like they used to make them. Welcome to another episode of Nerd, Nerd Out. Out. I am Randy. This is Brian. And this is just our opportunity to sort of do like a retrospective. Uh, man, we're an '80s kids, right? I mean, there's no doubt. Oh like, yes. Like I, we own that shit. Yeah, man. yeah. I mean, I think, uh, I think, obviously, what. The modern toys of what they're making is so far more sophisticated than what they made back then. But, like, what they made back then was, like, I don't know, it seems like they cared more. Like, at least take away the collector side of it. Like, yeah. Take out the SH figure arts. Take out the masterpiece well, stuff. But we're talking about, like, Toy Shelf on Toys R Us. Do yeah. you think it's more sophisticated now? No, Shelf not... on Toys R Us? Um, no, but yes. Like, that's, that's the thing. It's like... All right, let's just say this. Uh, mask, if you're not familiar with Mobile Armored Strike Command, it, it was... With a K. With a K. With a K. Right. Love that. Uh, was, What's Venom stand for? Uh, I, was it an acronym? Yeah, it's a goofy one. Oh, man. It's actually, very... Uh, I don't know. I, I got nothing. It's a goofy one. I, I, dude, I love masks as a kid. Anyways, uh, you know, I think the best way to put it is there's been a lot of talk of remaking Mask now thought they did no they made like a mat tracker for that mm. stupid evolution set which i hate but if they made the mass toy line now they wouldn't look like this they wouldn't have rubber tires they wouldn't even have clear windshields they wouldn't have realistic cars like that would not happen they'd probably them. give you two toys one in each mode yeah no yeah. they wouldn't be that ghetto no right? no it no. would suck it I, would they suck. definitely would not like these were, uh, these are junkers, by the way, all about this, because this is Raven. Raven was my favorite. Um, well, it, did you, did, did your Raven turn into a plane or a boat? Plane. Me too. Totally. Yeah, I'm like, fuck that, uh, it's not a boat. Yeah, yeah, based on the cartoon, the Raven was, uh, was, uh, a boat, but, uh, no, as no. a kid, when I played with it, it was totally a plane. There's no, there's no argument about it. Um, and it was my favorite one. It still is my favorite one. Um... I mean, it's a black Switch Corvette. Blade was still my favorite. Switchblade. Oh, really? It's useless. It's useless. It turns in from one flying thing to another flying thing. It was stupid. It, it was. But Cool's character. Cool's Miles Mayhem? Yeah, really? Yeah, I loved his helmet. All I loved right. everything about his helmet. I loved Switchblade. You know, he had I mean, a mustache, though, man. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm anti-mustache. You're right. He's an idiot, dude. He's a fat guy. He needs a stash. He's fat. He was a fat. And he wears a military outfit, but like. I did like that. But it was sort of weird, like what military? Did you Venom have military? Did you have Switchblade? Of course. Really? I think it was probably one of the first ones I had. Uh, it was cool, but like it was a helicopter that turned into a jet. Like mm -hmm. it just made really little sense. Go from flying to hovering. I yeah, guess. I was know? a Matt Tracker guy, but that is like that's that not too. surprising. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt Tracker was the. Uh, Did you ever use the Matt Tracker that came with the truck in the car? Did you like cross do it? What do you mean? Wait, what? Well, you know Matt Tracker came rhino. with the truck with the Rhino. This version. Yeah, exactly. Did you ever let him fly the car? Um, no, because I never had the Rhino. Of... The Rhino was expensive. You had a Rhino. I had a Rhino, yeah. Dude, rhino is yeah. probably up there with like. Was it was it the best because it was the biggest or was it the best? One of the I didn't best think it was, it was the best. No, I mean, I, mean I thought it was good, but I didn't think it was the best. It was cool because it came with two figures. Yeah, and it, it was big. Frenchman scientist. Uh, what was, was, it was Bruno Shepard, right? Bruno Shepard. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 that's yeah, him. yeah, that's him. Uh, was he a French? He's cool. He a, in the cartoon, he had some funny accent, didn't he? He looks like my buddy Tommy. Yeah. He's like Tommy. you know, bald with a beard. Not that there's anything wrong no, with the accent. No, but uh, we're talking eighties. Yeah, so we're talking eighties. Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar, but when masks first started, they had these smaller version helmets. Yep, with then, the cutout. Yeah, yeah. And they and were way they, better. Uh, I like you them. like you like this is a small helmet. You like I like this. the other one. No, you I like, like the, the bigger one. I like the bigger ones. These more. were the first. Yeah, ones. that's the first one. Yeah, I oh, like the ones really? that were the shoulders. Hold on. Yeah, let me. Uh, yeah, my bad. No, it's cool. I have a. I know okay. everybody likes the small ones because it's cartoon accurate. Yeah, yeah. I like the big guys. Really? Yep. Way more. Looks more sci-fi to me, man. Didn't they do it because everybody was losing them? I think so. I think yeah. they were probably like a like a choking hazard yeah. uh, back in the day of the Boba Fett shooting missile. Ah, uh, I'll give you that. I, I don't. I don't think that I could argue that it's better or worse. No, I don't know. I had the smaller one. I, did I too. know that, but uh, 
Uh, the first, the first one um, I had as a kid, and to be honest with you, I, I can't take credit for it. I got to take. Do you have his mask? Uh, no, it's tough to get. Oh yeah, you know what I do. Um, the first one I had as a kid. Hold on, I got a, com I got a complete set of figures as opposed to vehicles because vehicles the real thing, stay. man. Yeah, that's my thing. But uh, these are just sweet because they like split the difference between Transformers and Star Wars. You know, it's like. Well, what the hell do we Transformers do? Transformers and G.I. Just like Transformers and G.I. Joe. Um, yeah, it's saying, or Star yeah. Wars. Just three and three quarter action fit. Sweet. Yeah. Action figure line and they transform. Yeah. What else do you want? Mm. Um, the first one that ever entered our household uh, goes credit to my, my brother, Mike. He had... He had Brad Turner and uh, um, Condor. Yep, and, and that's got to be one of the coolest ones. It was it was motorcycle a motorcycle with hel helicopter. helicopter. Yeah, and that's it sweet. was it. It, it was price point was like six bucks. Mm -hmm. Like how could you go wrong? This guy was sweet too. I had that. He flew. Vampire. Vampire. Yeah, he was like a punk rock. Yeah, he was awesome. Oh man, Mask was. I, I think I think Mask was probably 1980s was a lot of competition for shelf space. I think mask. I don't. I don't know about the cartoon, but toy line easily top ten. Of the eighties, yeah, easily. Oh god, yeah, yeah, because it split up. It, it it was a combination of like the most popular toy lines of the eighties. So you could say GI Joe or Star Wars yeah. and Transformers, right? And GoBots. You had GoBots, Transformers on one side, GI Joe. And Star Wars yeah. on the other, and they combined them and came up with you. Hell yeah! It seems like it's such yeah. an easy concept to succeed. It, it makes you wonder why a toy company out there isn't like, I got an idea. Let's make a toy line of little figures that go into vehicles, and the vehicles turn into things or other other vehicles. Like such an easy concept, and like, why is that not happening now? And and, and I'll be yeah, dead why? gimmick maybe. Do you think? I think I think it's just that. Action figures is get, uh, dead. I mean, it's got to be like. But the thing is, is this combines the two things of like vehicle and action figure. Like, if they were to relaunch mask, uh, you stick with the small figure. Like, I like the three inch figure. Do you think they would though? No, I think they'd go three and three four. Which would suck. Yeah, and and it I would have, suck, but the vehicles would suffer for it. It would suffer. It'd be mm -hmm. too big. You they wouldn't give you an opportunity to get like small price point vehicles. Um, middle size ones. I mean, that's the thing about masks is there really were so many options. Uh, what what about the cartoon? How how are your feelings towards the cartoon? Was T Bob and Scott Tracker a good thing? Probably the one of the best themes. Really? Any eighties cartoon? What is that? Why is that? It's just a good theme. I thought it was sweet. I what I noticed I haven't watched in a long time was every episode was essentially the same. It was yeah, like they, yeah, they yeah. went to they every episode yeah. they went to some Third some world other country and yeah. saved it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It was easy. Why not? Yeah. You know? it, they used bad bad accents. Like a, yep. Hello, I am I am I am on my balls yeah, and it, was, it hurts bad. They sound like the jerky boys. Absolutely. Like, every bad everybody besides Matt sound like a jerky boy. You you couldn't get away with that shit today, man, that's for sure. Uh, God damn, I, I love it. Yeah, people, yeah, kids would be like, well, what country are they in? Yeah. I, I don't even, Bajadador. I don't even think, kid, I don't even think kid, kids would care yeah. about it. It's just it's like, like a bullshit -ador. Yeah, the, the, you, you couldn't, comp I mean, like, where do you even show cartoons on anymore? Like, Cartoon Network and Netflix seems to be doing a good job with Voltron. Like, But those are for adults. Yeah, probably. I think most animation now is probably for adults. I think you're probably right. No. Uh, unless you're, like... That's something you kids don't... want reality television and dancing with the stars. And, yeah. You think that's what kids want? I don't yeah. know about that. I I think I don't I know think, what they what do they want? I you don't got know. Kids, you tell me. They want to watch iPad. They want to watch people play games. They want to watch kids play Minecraft. Like they don't like. What was the last good successful action oriented cartoon? Action oriented like that Ben was on Ten. TV? That was yeah Ben Ten maybe. Um, I mean, I'm like action or not comedic, not like funny little cartoon creators, uh, not not uh SpongeBob. Like, Nowhere to start. Yeah, on that. I mean, it's been a, Ben Ten was probably the last like really successful action oriented cartoon. And they had a Bondi toy line. Uh, Bondi of America yeah. toy line. Yeah, those toys yeah. were pretty good. Yeah, they were pretty good. I liked them. Were the original line Bandai or they? Yeah, they were, weren't they? No, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That still seems to be successful but, but there has to be something after that i mean that's the 80s that's true um exo squad but that wasn't really successful and that was in the mm -hmm. 90s 
So I like, loved Exo Squad. Yeah, though. yeah, definitely. Like that's 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 one of those lines that is completely underappreciated and mm. under. Uh, it's a lot like this. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I love toy lines where there's a figure that interacts with the vehicle and playset. Did you have Boulder Hill? No, no. never had Boulder Hill. Uh, never even touched a Boulder Hill. Really? Never been seen. You didn't a have Boulder a friend Hill. who had a Boulder Hill? Nope. Never saw a Boulder Hill ever. I picked one up. Uh, I would say like the last three or four years, I no longer had it. I had to sell it, but it was uh, it was really interactive. Like it was fun. Like, when did it, was... it come out? In the as far as like in the line, was I it think, late, middle? Uh, I think beginning. Yeah, I mean first series. Uh, like, uh, I think it was like maybe like second series. Uh, or second half of the first series the the final series uh was the split seconds line do you those remember sucked. those yeah yeah they a, they came with the clones where they're are they separated yeah they like yeah. Would separate and combine yeah and they came with i gotta i gotta confess like i um when the split seconds figures came out i uh shoplifted a couple of them I took the figures out of the package oh at Toys R Us. I feel terrible. Mm -hmm. I did feel terrible about it, but uh, but it was because like by then, Mask had run its course. I wasn't gonna buy any Mask toys. Plus, I was probably like 11, 12 years old, and I was a thief. Like that was terrible. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know, man. I'll be honest with you. Like if if I'm gonna rank it, uh, I'm gonna take Star Wars out of the equation because Star Wars is is its own entity. But uh, GI Joe. Transformers slash GoBots because we'll talk about that, um, and then probably Mask. I mean, like Toy Line, the lie or He Man probably was you're, up there. Wait, He Man. You take Star Wars out of it? It's Toy Lines of the as 80? far as like successful, popular concept toy lines. Masters of the Universe would be in there. But I, think I would. I, I think without Star Wars, you'd have to delete all these because they wouldn't exist. Okay, you're right. Okay, fine. Star Wars, GI Joe, Transformers. He-Man, um, or Masters of the Universe, um... Yeah, because I, I, I stayed in it through She-Ra, man. Did you? Couple figures. Couple there. She-Ra had some good figures in No, it. no, it did. I remember mm -hmm. as a kid wanting, uh, wanting Bo. Yeah. And, uh... Was it Hordak? Yeah, Hordak figure? was... The, yeah, I mean, I, I, I everybody can, forgets that. I think the so. She-Ra cartoon, I'm gonna get it for it was, No, I was I good. It was I liked good. it, I liked it I liked lot. it better than the He-Man cartoon. It was bad. I, I mean, I was on my way out then. I was getting old. It was like 85 or something, 86. You were getting old by 86? For He-Man. Like, oh, because, for He-Man. Yeah, because He-Man were kids. Like little yeah, kids' yeah. toys. Well, I it, thought. I mean, I think, I think the He Man cartoon ruined the toy line. I'm gonna say that because the toy line looked like Frank Frazetta, like artwork. Like, it yeah, was like Conan. Man, it was like and serious. And the cartoon was real was juvenile. So yeah. juvenile. Like yes. I'm Adam. Like and Orko. Yeah, me Orko. I'm get, sorry. Get Absolutely. rid of Orko. Yeah, it and ruined the, it. And like, how how dumb are these people? Like, wow, it's like like the people of Metropolis and the people of Eternia are equally right. stupid for Dude, not being able to tell that. Even it's the same more dude. stupid because because at least Clark Kent wore glasses. Yeah, Prince Adam. Prince wore Adam just a purple. Nude. He wore a purple shirt. Yeah, and he just stripped nude yes. into a loincloth, and all of a sudden he's he man. Yeah, he's he man. And he like, wore tight body tight clothing. He didn't have the same. Like, he had the same physique. build. Like he yeah. was huge. He was like he was like the biggest pussy there was, and he was huge. And he had a blonde page haircut, page boy haircut. Like how many blonde page hair boys haircut Dutch boys, boy? Du yeah, Dutch boy. I mean, I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Now again, uh, I still enjoyed the cartoon, but as soon as the cartoon started um, airing, I did stop buying the toy line. And uh, you know, I liked the toys though, man. Mm -hmm. The toys were great. They were like. They uh, the original concept was like like Castle Grayskull. You look at Castle Grayskull. And all the details in it, it's Crazy. dark. Yeah, it's Crazy. dark. There's like skulls yeah. it, it, and demons it, it behind the bars. Like skele and yeah, Skeletor's yeah. pretty freaky dude. Yeah, pretty freaky. Yeah. Ah oh, man, just uh, I gave up on He Man when Transformers, Mask, yeah. all that shit hit it. I'm like, yeah, enough He Man. There was I'm so done. yeah. I mean, there were so many good things to compete for. I I admit, uh, I had a little thing for Tila. Tila was why not? Hey, Tila was T Tila and Chitara, in my opinion, were the two hottest uh, girl characters in any action figure toy line. I can't. Can you like, as far as cartoons go, um, Mask? They you had know, Gloria man, Baker. Vanessa. They had Vanessa. Uh, she was the bad guy girl mm -hmm. with the red hair. Do you remember mm -hmm. her? I I sort of dug her. She was like the bad guy, but 
Chitara and Tila. I remember going to my friend uh, Jimmy's house, and he had the Tila, and um, I remember I got special feelings from from just checking that out. Tila was one of the better figures. Actually, she totally. was a good figure. She and, and I loved how she was like, seemed like sort of a weird sorceress, the figure, because she had that snake thing that went over her head. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. that's true. She Which, was like right out of Beastmaster yeah. or Conan. No, or totally, totally. Man. It wrecked her. Man. man of arms, he's a pussy. Man of arms, you know what? Duncan. This Duncan. is where they ruined man of arms when they gave him a mustache. No, I was going to say the stash was awesome. No, I liked the that's, stash. That's when I knew that He Man was no longer for me. Is when I turned on the cartoon and man at arms had a mustache. I was like, why? Why do you put a mustache on this guy to make him badass? <laughs> <laughs> That's what does it. The mustache. He man needs a mustache now, like a total Dude, like brrr, a big yeah, blonde yeah. mustache. <laughs> I, I I got a thing against yeah. mustaches. That was my that was my sole reason why uh, why I never collected visionaries is because the that leader stashes. of the visionaries yep. had a mustache. That's a problem with me. Um, with that said, uh, if the mask is still reasonably priced, like there's a couple expensive pieces out there. But for the most part, you can collect these, and they're probably cheaper than the toys that you get at the Toys R Us now. Like, if you go to Toys R Us, like, the Voltron Lion, like, one one Lion is, like, what, 30, 40 bucks? I mean, there's a couple... Is it really? Yeah, it's pretty expensive. You can get the whole Lion for 100 bucks in that gift set. Yeah, I think you're right, but I think they still, like, I think the Black Lion, man, these are so cool. Oh, this thing so you know you know what topped mask for me as a kid, though? What topped mask? Starcom. Cause it's yeah, similar. but it was space. I mean, yeah. it was like, yeah, it's a space. Tw- Does this thing open any further? Like, I, I don't remember. That's Meteor. Like, I'll be honest with you, like, Meteor was like a, like a later series, mm-hmm. and I was sort of out of it by then. It's sort of a shitty toy. Like, this has a hinge here that doesn't. Like, that's when they I'm started like it, that's but... when they started like separating as opposed to transforming. Transform- yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you turn into one thing. Right. And, like, this was a cool this? one though. Firefly was cool. Hmm. Although uh, Firefly was uh, was piloted by Julio Lopez and he had a mustache and I totally dug him. And the 1986 Mustache of the Year award goes to. He was cool. Mustaches in the 80s. Oh, it's just yeah. awesome, man. I mean, that's. Yeah, now it's an ironic hipster thing. Uh, they need to like re. They need to like superimpose a mustache into in, into uh, uh, Big Trouble in Little China because Jack Burton. You think he should have had a mustache? Oh my God! Now well, when I look back at it with those huge moccasin boots. Yeah, yeah. His stash. If yep. Indiana Jones would have ended up being casted by, uh, they were originally yeah, he would have, uh, yeah, um, yep. Matt, what's his name, uh, Tom Selleck, well, he like he w- yeah, because he would not have shaved that mustache. Oh my, like no way, he would have grown it thicker. Man. Yeah, <laughs> would have been sweet. Whoa, what the fuck? Dude, could you imagine, like, in an alternate reality, like Indiana Jones? Could you imagine Sylvester Stallone as Han Solo? N- you know what? I kind of hey, could. yeah, we're gonna go save the day. Hey. Hey. I'm in it for just one person, me. The, the, the thing is, though, is would have been we, sweet. It, I mean, if we didn't know, not. if we didn't know any any different, any mm. any better, like we would have accepted it and loved it. Uh, I mean, like, could you imagine how different Sylvester Stallone's life? I didn't know that he was he was going to be casted as. Uh, I think console. there's actual like footage of it. If I'm really? not mistaken, are you sure? I, I, I know. I I know that he was. He was. They wanted him to do it. Really? Yeah, I know for a fact that, and I think there might even be test footage of him reading really? for it. Yeah, that, that would be weird because like uh, Stallone is like five foot six. Uh, he's a short guy. Fit in the Falcon better. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, princess. But like, he, he, when he stand next to Luke, he would look. What, what do you think Luke is like? Probably like uh, five, like ten, five, ten, five, eleven. Yeah. yeah. Um, that would be, it would be different. It would definitely be different. And, and Carrie Fisher's like four foot nine. She was four yeah. foot nine. R.I.P., R.I.P. All right, back to mask. Um, I, it's, it's at least, uh, top six coolest toy lines of the 80s. Easily. Yeah. At least, uh, you know, and, and I think, I want to say that I think it deserves another go. But the problem is, is a I don't... A fair go, though. That's don't half-ass problem. it. Make it right. It know? wouldn't be. Hasbro would not handle it right. This, when they do a new Thunderhawk, it wouldn't be a real car. It would be a car that looks like a real car, but isn't. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. they do that a lot with Transformers. Like, they make, like, a car that sort of looks like a, a real car, but it's not quite. Yeah. You know, like, it looks like a Honda Civic, but it's not really a Honda Civic. 
Like, they would make something that looked like a Dodge Challenger, but it really isn't a Dodge Challenger. And uh, I think one of the appeals was that, like, if it was supposed to be real world, it was real world. And, and they don't do that anymore. And, and they would do a 3 3 4 inch. And I'm a, I'm a fan of 3 and 3 4 inch. It's just that I think by keeping them 3 inch, I think you allow the world to expand into a bigger, better place. Or just let them stay dead. I think so. I think that's ultimately what you should do. You know, do. I mean, just move, move on. on. Come I up agree. with something new. It's just the toy industry, like the mass market toy industry, just needs something. Yeah, absolutely. They're just. Do you think that there will be something uh, to come and reinvigorate action figures, or do you think action figures is just an extinct, uh, extinct type Star of Star Wars isn't doing it. No. I don't know what else can. I mean, it, it's. I can Star tell you Wars how Star Wars is big as it's ever been, and, it, and it's like just kids don't play like that anymore. yeah I, don't know. I mean you're right but the reason hasbro's fucking up because they they're they're too schizophrenic on what they want to do they want to do six inch figures they want to do five point articulation figures they want to do high end three and three fourth inch they need to just keep it a consistent quality three and three fourth inch toy line and uh make a lot of vehicles and up up the quality man i think i actually think gen gen Genuinely, the older Star Wars figures are better quality than new ones. Like the vehicles. Like when you like look at an They're old. They're made out of higher quality plastics yeah. for sure. I mean that. Yeah, I mean you could more detail. You could send. No. You don't not think more so? Data. No way. Really? Like what? How old are you talking about? Seventies or like? Okay, nineties or like. If you take the the um the vintage Y wing. Yeah. And you compare that to like the new U wing because that's uh, you know vehicle I have. All right. Uh, I think the Y wing has more details. Well, it probably does, but there's the the, the model has more. I mean, it's like pieced together. That's I, true. I would take the U wing though as as quality. I think really. I don't when know, you man. You drop that Y wing, it's done. Yeah, uh, the Y wing is a hard one. That's one of the best ones. That yeah, is I mean, okay. Um, how about um, I'm trying to think. Like, how about a Tie Fighter, vintage Tie Fighter to like the new the new Tie Fighters. The new ones so much. Better. I don't know. Maybe maybe those you're right. wings are so much better. Like they scrapped the wing detail in. They made it better. I'm not talking about the vintage collection though. Ones though. I'm talking about like the the ones that are made for the five point articulation ones. I'm not talking about like the oh vintage. you mean from the Force Awakens. Yeah yeah yeah. I need to see one. I've never actually seen one on the bot. Yeah, let's get this shit. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Maybe maybe. Oh, I don't know. That's sort of beautiful. I, it is, but like yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm being. Too nostalgic. Eh, I don't know. One, but yeah, that's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Yeah, we did. Yeah, that. All crazy. right, maybe I'm maybe I'm being nostalgic. Yeah, I would take that over anything that came out from like. Oh from really? The kids. The I think so. Mine yeah. is the nerf shit. The on nerf that, shit and the, the levels of dust. Okay, maybe I'm being a little too dramatic, but I don't know. I think you're right. I think. If Star Wars cannot reinvigorate the action figure market, I don't know what would come around and do that. Something new, something fresh. I mean, as good as Star Wars is, it definitely is not fresh. No, no. It's not, but we live in a world where people Things, don't want fresh ideas. I don't know. Yeah, and you're Someone right. needs to come along and prove us wrong and show us something fresh that's good, but nobody's doing it. We're right. all getting rehashes of shit. I mean, even look at... Like Stranger Things season two, you know what made it so good? They turned up the nostalgia to eleven. Yeah, you're and, right. And we fell for it. Everybody fell for it. But that's basically what they did. And like, yeah, they expanded the story a little bit more. But yeah, Steve, like you said, he's the babysitter. He's the '80s babysitter from every mm -hmm. horror movie that we all fall in love with. It's like they did shit that we've already been through, and that's what people want. I think you're right. Well, I'm what not, what is? I'm not ripping on Stranger no, Things. No, I loved it. Love, I love, love it. No rip right. on it, but it's not new. You're right. It is not. Not new. nothing it, new about it. It's it's charm is the is the fact that it like plays on our nostalgia and hits the nostalgia button. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do with the Last Jedi because uh, I think he's trying to do something new with Star Wars. But yeah. either way, it's still Star Wars. Like I I mean, what was the I, like? I can't even think of like what the most freshest newest idea that that worked for me is but you're right it's all like i i agree though i want nostalgia too but mm -hmm. i would like something fresh i just don't know what it is um we'll know when it comes though then yeah. um in the meantime uh go buy some masked toys and vehicles uh recreate your childhood if you are um a young lad or but not lady, this one don't get this really one. This it's a cool sucks. jet though 
Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say go for the Raven um, because it's priced right, it's inexpensive, and it's really cool. And I, uh, Calhoun Birds, the the pilot, is my favorite figure along with uh, vehicle. Any other last minute uh, rants? Nope. You got anything? Please subscribe. Uh, feel free to give us your thoughts. Was T Bob and Scott Tracker a good thing? Uh, and until next time, nerd, nerd out. out! And the 1986 Mustache of the Year award goes to.